So if you're fans of the channel, you know I do a lot of videos vlogging with just the GoPro and this small mini mic, the Editage ETM-001. In this video, I'm going to do a mic review between the 001, which is $27 omnidirectional, and the 008, which is $67, but promises to have more directional sound, maybe kind of like a mini shotgun mic. I got the 008 uh, yesterday and I ran a couple tests I'm gonna share with you guys so we can listen to them together. And at the end of the test, I'll let you know my thoughts about which one you should get the 001 or the 008. So let's listen to those tests. Hey there everybody, this is what the Edutage ETM-001 sounds like plugged into the GoPro Hero 5. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And uh, let's see how it sounds like compared to the Edutage ETM-008. All right, so this is a clip with the Edutage-008 mic. Uh, a little bit more expensive but more directional than the 001. You also have to plug it into a right angle adapter so it's facing in the right direction. But other than that, pretty much the same condition, same kind of echoey room, arms length away. So what sounds better to you guys, the 008 or the 001? We are in uh, my kitchen. I'm gonna do another sound test. This is with the uh, 001 and this time I'm gonna test its ability to reject sound. I'm gonna turn on the fan to our uh, stove here and we'll see how how well the 008 can reject the sound compared to the 001, which uh, is omnidirectional, so I suspect that this won't reject any sound at all. Oh, too loud. So this is the Editage ETM-001. Uh, I turned on the hood to our stove fan right behind it. Uh, because this is a omnidirectional sound pattern, I do suspect it's gonna pick up a fair amount of that noise. So I'm gonna switch it now with the 008 pointed directly at me, and in theory, this should reject uh, more sound coming from behind it. Okay, so this is the same exact situation. I have not moved, I have not changed the level of the fan, and uh, I'm filming with the Editage 008, again, the more omnidirectional mic, seeing how it compares with the 001. So I've not listened to this yet, but if things play out like they should, uh, you should definitely get less fan noise than this mic in the audio. Um, we'll see what it sounds like in post. So I'm going to do another test here, uh, this one to simulate outside conditions where I'm riding a bike, maybe holding the camera in front of me, and there's, you know, air and wind uh, blowing past the mic as I ride. And I'm going to turn on the fan to like a middle setting, so let's see how it goes. <clears throat> All right, so the camera is about arm's length away. Uh, the distance I would hold it from when I was vlogging. The wind is blowing and I have the ETM-001 with a wind muff. So the wind muff should help reduce kind of the thundering wind noise, but you know, it's moving at a good clip. I'd say this would be a 12 to 15 mile per hour pace. Uh, so we'll see how well it does. So the fan's still on. Um, again, holding at arm's length as I would when I was riding, the, the fan is going at the same speed as it was with, with the 001. Uh, I hope that this will have uh, kind of a, a reduced rumbling or, or thunder um, because it is more unidirectional facing me. I did notice one thing on the previous test with the, the, the fans over my stove is that because I have to use a right angle uh, adapter with the 008, I was getting a bit of the wind muff in the frame, so I changed the field of view to linear, so that should crop it out. Uh, it should crop in a little bit and take off the wind muff. So I lied, I'm gonna do uh, two more tests, and uh, that is a handling noise test. I, I noticed, I, I popped the card in, I noticed I, was, I seemed to be getting more handling noise with the 008, so we're just gonna test that right now. So I'm hold, holding it pretty still, I'm gonna tap the case, I'm gonna rub the case, tap the case. One, one more thing I'm gonna do is test the side wind re rejection. So here's the fan, I'm gonna turn it on to medium. Um, all right, so does this sound better than the 001, which is omnidirectional? Um, I don't know, I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping because the, the pickup pattern is it's supposed to be more directional that it will reject this wind sound, but you never know.
Okay, let's test the 001. Okay, so this is the 001. I'm going to do the same handling noise test I did with 008. I'm gonna tap the case, tap, 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 tap. I'm gonna rub the case, tap from the bottom, rub the case. Is there, does this somehow reject handling noise better than the 008? Now I'm gonna turn on the uh, fan. Again, it's coming from that side. Uh, so this is a test of the 001 testing its side air rejection. Is it better or is it worse than the more expensive 008? I'll listen to this all and uh, kind of summarize everything um, that I'm hearing. So pretty interesting results. Uh, I think both mics are pretty impressive. The 001 and the 008 for both their price and uh, their portability, but also some, some kind of interesting differences. First, I'm gonna uh, kind of summarize my experience with the 001. This is one I've been using the most uh, over the last couple of years. I love that it's affordable at $27. It's not gonna break the bank. And I actually don't mind the omnidirectional pattern too much because I can uh, record someone speaking to the camera and I can speak behind it in an interview session and gets both our voices nice and clear. I think in the tests, one thing that's interesting is that the 001 is generally louder than the 008. The audio and the tests were straight out of the camera. I didn't do any compression or kind of matching of levels. So this mic is uh, hotter, for better or for worse. I did think in a echoey room like this, that this, you could definitely tell uh, there was slightly less presence than with the 008. I think another big advantage of this mic is actually in the handling noise test. Uh, you know, tapping the mic, and rubbing it, you did pick up some handling noise, but something with the 008, it just made it more obvious, more booming, a deeper sound. I think one area in which the 001 didn't fare so well was in the rear sound rejection test. So that tells me if you're in a noisy environment, let's say a mall or a crowded room, and you really wanna focus on the sound of the person that's facing the camera, then this probably wouldn't be the best mic. However, if you're doing mostly solo stuff, let's say you're an outdoor vlogger or a bike vlogger, this mic actually performs pretty well. So let's talk about my impressions of the 008. Uh, I was fairly impressed with how this sounds like in a vlogging situation. I thought there was a little bit more clarity, a little bit more presence, although the levels were lower, so it does require a little bit more level adjustment. I think it sounded crisper and cleaner uh, and you picked up less of the overall room echo. I was super impressed in the rear sound rejection test. I thought this really excelled. Barely noticed that the uh, fan was running behind it. So I think if, uh, so this is definitely perfect for situations where, um, you know, there's again, lots of people in the room and you just wanna focus on the audio from the person that's speaking into the mic, then this is definitely the better mic for that. On the downside, the handling noise test was a bit of a surprise. Um, I don't think it will turn me off completely from using this mic outdoors. When I have this mic on, I'm going to be super careful and cautious not to accidentally bump the GoPro or have anything rub against it. I think you, I think if you are a outdoor vlogger and you like to wear a chesty and there's a, there's an opportunity for the, the GoPro to rub on things, then I would lean towards the 001 and not the 008 so much. But if you are doing lots of pieces to camera in noisy environments, then the 008 would be the better choice. Surprisingly, I thought the 008 performed really poorly in the uh, rear wind rejection test. I might have to run feature tests outside to actually see if that's accurate but I thought that this would perform better in that test. It performed great in the side wind rejection test, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. So in summary, which mic you should get. Uh, first off, you can't go wrong with, with either mic, so if you're on a budget and you can't afford the $67 version, the 008, then the 001 is still a great mic. Where I think there are kind of clear winners is in the use. I think if you're a outdoor vlogger, uh, and you're not gonna be competing with lots of you know, human-made noises like crowds or cars or machinery, and you're gonna be mounting your GoPro to a chesty, then I think the 001 is actually the, um, is actually the better mic. Let's say you're fishing or you're hiking or you're running or something. You don't have to be constantly aware of which direction the mic is pointing at. And also as you move and the GoPro rubs against your body or other things, uh, it'll, the 001 will pick up less handling noise. 
On the other end of the spectrum, if you find yourself doing lots of pieces to camera, let's say you're a travel vlogger and you're not necessarily moving around actively with the mic all the time, but are just simply holding the GoPro out at you and speaking to it, then the 008 might be the better choice. It will reject most of the ambient sound so it can really focus on your voice. So this test was uh, fairly surprising to me. I thought this would be the absolute clear winner, uh, but it's not, it's complicated. It really depends on your use, on your handling style, kind of sounds you're trying to record or not record. Again, I'm gonna have links to uh, both these mics, the 01, 001, and the 008 in the description below. Uh, so if you found that useful and you want to get a mic, consider buying from those affiliate links. It really helps out the channel. And be sure to subscribe. I think I'm going to do more tests with the 008. I'm actually going to put it on the GH5 and see if I can use this to um, replace the Rode Video Micro that I'm using. And I might do some Rode Video Micro comparison tests with the 008 and the 001 in the next week or so. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep the supple side down.